friends, welcome back to another What's For Dinner video. This week I have four super easy and delicious meals to share with you. They are all very budget friendly and also very simple to put together on a busy weeknight. I have two kids, I have a one year old and a two year old. So obviously I'm very, very busy and I don't always want to cook a super elaborate meal. So these are gonna be really simple meals that any mom can make or just anyone if you're just starting out in the kitchen. This is gonna be super helpful for you. If you are new to my channel, I just want to say welcome. My name is Caitlin. I do post a new what's for dinner video every single Sunday. I have a crock pot series that is gonna be coming up, so stay tuned if you want to see that. Lots of meal prep, grocery hauls, lots of videos like that on my channel, so if that is something you are interested in, make sure you hit that subscribe button. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this week of meals. So for the first dinner this week, I'm just making some crusty Parmesan chicken and I'm just starting off with one egg in a bowl here and I'm adding in about a tablespoon of water and I'm just whisking this up really well together. This is actually going to be part of the coating for the chicken. Now I'm going to be adding in some seasonings to this mixture. So for the seasonings, I'm adding in about a quarter teaspoon of some sea salt. I'm also adding in about a quarter teaspoon of black pepper, as well as about a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder, and I'm just mixing all of this together until everything is combined. Now moving on to the coating for the chicken, I'm using about half a cup of panko breadcrumbs. It was a heaping half cup. And then for the Parmesan cheese, I did use some freshly shredded. And this is just another heaping half of a cup. And I'm just mixing all of this together. This is gonna be the breading for on top of our chicken. It was super flavorful and delicious. So for the chicken, I just ended up cutting up one chicken breast. I just cut it in half lengthwise and then I cut it in half again to make four pieces total. They were nice thin pieces so they fried up really easily. I just dipped them into the egg wash and then over into the cheese and the crumb mixture. And this made a perfect coating for on top of the chicken. Super, super delicious for a late night and a pretty quick dinner. One thing I will say about this coating is it didn't really want to stick on there with the cheese. It was mostly just the breadcrumbs that were wanting to stick. So I ended up making sure that that Parmesan got on there and I really pressed it into the chicken and it ended up super, super delicious with a nice thick coating on it. Now moving over to my skillet, I just added in about one and a half tablespoons of butter with a nice drizzle of olive oil and I'm heating this up until everything is nice and heated through. The oil is nice and hot and then I'm going to be heating up our chicken and frying it in this oil. I do always like to make sure that my butter and my oil is really well mixed together before starting. And then I'm just adding my chicken right into my pan. I would say I cook this for probably like four to five minutes on each side, but of of course this is going to depend on how thick your chicken is and just everything like that. You of course want to make sure that it is cooked all the way through to 165 degrees. So this is what the chicken ended up looking like. Super nice and crispy and delicious. Now I'm heading over here to my pot and I'm showing you how I made the pasta. So I actually just used up a couple boxes of thin spaghetti that we had a few noodles left in. Of course I salted my water. I do always like to do that when I'm making pasta. And I'm just getting this boiled up. Once it's done, I'm just going to be draining it and then I'll show you how I'm making the sauce for it. So here I have a separate pot. I'm adding in about a tablespoon and a half of butter and I'm just letting that melt together. I did wanna keep this sauce pretty light and simple. I'm also adding in a big scoop of minced garlic and I'm just letting that warm up just a bit. Make sure to not burn it. Garlic can burn super easily if you're not careful. So I let it cook up for maybe like a minute or so. I wouldn't do more than that. And then I'm adding in about half a cup of chicken broth. Once that's boiling, that is when I'm adding in about a quarter cup of 
heavy cream and I'm just stirring that together until it's just warm. You definitely don't want your heavy cream to boil or it could actually curdle. And then I'm also adding in some Parmesan cheese. I would say add it in probably about half a cup of cheese but you can definitely just do that to taste. And then of course I also added in some salt and pepper and I'm just letting that heat together until everything is nice and melted. So here are my noodles. They're all drained and ready to go. And then I'm just gonna be topping these noodles with the sauce. As you can see, it's a pretty thin sauce and it worked out so good for these noodles. I didn't want it to be a very thick sauce. The noodles really absorbed it in and it ended up super, super delicious for just a quick and easy pasta on the side. Now this pasta can be served with the chicken right on top or you can serve it completely separately. I just kind of served it on the side. I did end up adding in some salt and pepper as well as quite a bit of parsley, but that is really it for this pasta. It served perfect with the chicken and I think you guys are really gonna like this one. So here is our dinner all plated up. I just served the chicken with the pasta and then a nice little side salad on the side. So for the next night, I actually made a zucchini lasagna. This is something that I've been wanting to make for a while, but I wasn't sure if my husband would like it or not, but I did end up trying it out after one of you guys actually recommended me to try it out since I said I had so much zucchini. So here I am just cutting up our zucchini into some long thin strips. I'm gonna leave the recipe that gave me some inspiration for this, but I didn't follow it to a T, so you guys can kind of decide what exactly you wanna do. I I did cut my slices of zucchini just a little bit thicker because I didn't want them to get too soggy. And now here I'm just laying them out on some paper towels and I'm actually going to be sprinkling them with some salt. This is going to help remove some of that water in the zucchini so that it doesn't get too waterlogged when I'm actually baking it in the sauce and everything. So I'm just going to let this sit for about 10 minutes and let that salt kind of absorb in and do its thing and then I will come back and show you how we're going to assemble everything. So the original recipe actually called for ricotta cheese, but our family prefers cottage cheese. So here I'm just mixing up one egg with probably about a cup of cottage cheese. I just eyeballed it. You guys know I eyeball everything in my kitchen, so sorry if I don't have exact measurements, but I would say it's probably right around a cup. And then I'm adding in some oregano as well as some Italian seasoning and some parsley. And I'm just mixing this together. I had barely any Parmesan cheese, so I just added probably like a teaspoon but the recipe did call for a little bit more but this worked out totally fine I'm just mixing this up and setting it aside So this is actually my leftover sauce from last week's What's For Dinner. I actually just threw it in the freezer and then I just thawed it out for this recipe. I would say it's about the equivalent of two jars of sauce. And then I added in about one pound of lean ground beef and I'm just mixing all of that together. You guys know I already prepped this ground beef in my last meal prep video, which has been a lifesaver. But now it is finally time to assemble the lasagna. So I'm just adding on a little bit of sauce onto the bottom of my pan and then I'm putting on the zucchini noodles. So basically the zucchini is gonna act like our noodle in this recipe. Layer on your cottage cheese mixture or you can use ricotta if that's what you prefer. And then you're going to add on some more sauce some mozzarella cheese and you're basically just going to layer this up like you would a normal lasagna. I repeated the process again and I ended up with about three layers for mine.
You're going to want to cover this up with some aluminum foil for about half of the time while it's in the oven. So for the first 30 minutes in the oven, you're going to keep it covered and then for the last 20 minutes, you're going to pull the aluminum foil off so that cheese can really brown up. So the temperature of the oven should be set at about 375 degrees and I will have the full recipe linked down below for you guys. I actually really enjoyed this. It was something I would definitely make again. For the next night, I ended up taking the leftover zucchini lasagna and I actually repurposed it into a hot dish. So this is what the leftovers looked like. We had about half left and I just felt like it didn't look very appetizing the next day. So I figured this would be a good time to just kind of repurpose it and it actually made the meal stretch even farther. So here I'm actually just kind of cutting it up into pieces. Nothing pretty or fancy about this. I'm just kind of cutting up the lasagna noodles or should I say the zucchini noodles into pieces pieces, probably about an inch in size I would say, throwing that right into my pan and I'm just going to be heating this up until it's warm. I'm not adding anything else to this really, I'm just letting it get warm again in my pan. I decided to use elbow noodles for this pasta. I'm just adding in a whole box of elbow noodles and of course I'm salting my water and then I'm just going to be cooking these until they are al dente and draining them off. So all of this pasta is going to go right into that zucchini lasagna mixture and I'm just mixing this up together. Mine was about the right ratio, of course depending on what you have for leftovers you may have to adjust your amount of noodles to your sauce, but this ended up about right for me. I did decide to add in a little bit more red sauce just because I had some in the fridge to use up and I really like a lot of sauce on my pasta. So I just mixed this up together and until it was all heated through it was good to go. I did decide to top it with a little mozzarella cheese, melt it down, and that was dinner on this night. I just served it with a quick little side salad. So for this next night, I just decided to make some sloppy joes with some roasted zucchini and some roasted potatoes. This was a super quick and easy dinner. I'm just taking some russet potatoes. I had them all washed off and scrubbed down and then I'm just chopping them up into pieces, throwing them into my bowl. You guys know by now I love to make roasted potatoes. I think it's just super, super easy to throw in some olive oil with some seasonings, throw them in the oven and you have a really quick and easy side dish. So it's as far as the potatoes, you can cut them up whatever size you want. On this one, I did mine a little bit on the bigger side, which means I did have to actually cook them ahead of time before the zucchini. I'm just tossing them up with some olive oil, some onion powder, garlic powder, a little bit of chili powder, and of course some salt and pepper. You can really adjust these seasonings to your taste and see what your family thinks. Go ahead and add in your favorite seasonings, but I'm just tossing them all together. I did decide to line my baking sheet with some aluminum foil just to make the cleanup really nice and easy for me. This was a super busy weeknight and I did not want a big mess to clean up. So I ended up just throwing these potatoes onto my baking sheet and I baked these for about 20 minutes before adding on my zucchini. I wanted my zucchini to stay nice and firm, but of course I wanted my potatoes nice and soft. So I just put those in a 400 degree oven for about 20 minutes while I'm working on my zucchini. So, as I said, we have so much zucchini in our garden. I'm just cutting mine up into pretty big pieces. I don't like our zucchini to be soggy and my husband definitely does not like it to be soggy. So I'd left these in pretty big pieces. And now it is time to season up our zucchini. I'm just drizzling it with a little bit of olive oil and then I kept the seasonings very simple with some garlic powder, some salt and pepper, as well as some Parmesan. If you have never tried Parmesan on your zucchini, you are missing out. It is so good. It gets a little bit crispy in the oven or you can also do these in the air fryer. And it is such an amazing combination. I highly recommend it.
So at this point, my potatoes are about half done cooking and it is now time to add on the zucchini. I had a very, very full baking sheet at this point, but I did get everything to fit. I was determined to not have to use two baking sheets. So now this is gonna go in the oven for probably right around another 20 minutes. Just keep an eye on it and make sure that nothing is burnt. And like I said before, your oven should be at about 400 degrees. Here is the sloppy joe meat that I actually pulled out of my freezer. I will have the recipe linked down below for this because I've shared it in a video before. It's a really good and easy sloppy joe recipe that I think you guys will really enjoy. And here is how all of the vegetables came out. I've got my zucchini and my potatoes and here is everything plated up together. It was super delicious and also a very quick and easy meal. All right, friends, that is going to wrap up this week of what's for dinner. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Hit that little subscribe button if you have not already. I do post a new what's for dinner video every single Sunday. Lots of crock pot meals, meal prep, grocery hauls, all kinds of videos to make motherhood just a little bit easier. So if that is something that you're interested in, definitely make sure you hit that subscribe button. But that is going to be it for today's video. I will see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. As a young girl, it feels we're mine. We played hide and seek for hours, raised our shadows among the pines. So offshore, playful and free, without a care.